Hi, Andrew here. As promised, today we're going to do the M80A1 reduced velocity test. As we've seen with M855A1, the design of the bullet lends itself to just absolutely explosive fragmentation, even at relatively low velocities. So I expect some really good performance from the M80A1. To get the lower velocity with the M80A1, I actually loaded it into a 300 blackout case with kind of a middle of the road, just above starting charge. We're gonna shoot it from an ARFCOM 8 inch AR-15 upper. Let's head out to the range and take a look. One seven four three. Okay, so I didn't really expect to be able to capture all of the bullet in the event that it fragmented. And you see that it did leave the block right here. It exited at about 22 inches. But that's not really the point. The point is, there's still no neck. Instant, significant, dramatic fragmentation, like all over the place. There's fragments here, here, here. I can see quite a few, and they're not all really tiny. They're pretty big chunks. There's a nice big piece of jacket right here. Big, huge temporary stretch cavity all throughout from well, immediately through approximately 10 inches by 3 and 3 quarter. Just a big, huge temporary stretch cavity. Lots of disruption, even at a, well, pretty low velocity. And if we tilt the block up, bring it in a little bit, you can see the penetrator here at 14.2 inches. Obviously it deviated quite a bit from the main track here. Pretty cool. Okay, so at a little over 1700 feet per second, this is really good performance. That's almost wandering along as far as rifle bullets are concerned. And still, excellent fragmentation, virtually zero neck, pretty decent temporary stretch cavity. Of course, it's a smaller temporary stretch cavity than we have seen with M80A1 at higher velocities. Obviously, less energy results in less temporary stretch cavity, just like we saw with the M855A1 at lower velocity. But still, this bullet design in 30 caliber, even at slower speed, still doing amazing work. So I think you can see what's coming next. <laughs> The next obvious step is that we need to test Mark 319 at lower velocity. So that's what we're going to do next week. Same thing, same 300 blackout case, same 8-inch barrel, but we're going to test Mark 319 and see how that does at lower velocity, another Army-Navy game. If you have any questions, if you disagree with some of my methods, if you just want to let us know what you'd like to see us test next, leave a comment below. We're always looking for your input. As always, have a great day.